abandoned industrial places by David Ross, factories, laboratories, mills, and mines that the world left behind. So it's, um, you get an introduction and then um, the different um, continents, North America, South, Central and South America, Europe, Africa, and the Middle East, Asia, and the Pacific. And this book is more on the visual side. It's like coffee table book. Um, it's focusing on the visuals with um, the captions. Um, small quick captions, a little bit of um, history about it. Um, you get the exterior and a few interior images. And you do get a number of different places. Um, a few places do have a few more images than others, but um, it's a great little visual um, of different places that are apparently are still standing that um, have once um, have once employed a number of different people. So. So like you get an introduction and then like you get like the little caps. Some might be like the full two pages, some might be just like one and a half and like two tiny or two tiny pieces of um, images or it might just be like that, like um, images like that. So. And you get a decent quick, it's not like a one, two line thing. It's a few lines um, of the place and um, of the place where it is um, like Cockatoo Island Dockyard, Sydney Harbor, Australia, established 1857 using convict labor. This was a long time. Um, this was for a long time a naval base and shipyard, extended and adapted over the years, and so on. Um, but yeah, it's a good like place if um, you like abandoned places or um, you're one who is going into like um, history of like certain. Um, places or like whatever continental history or um, whatever but um, you again you do get um, a few different um, places and decent look at um, each continent of places so yeah abandoned industrial places happy readings <laughs>